holy what's up everyone and special man welcome back to another episode of shadow run hong kong so last time we just took this mission from the one poems we were traveled here we're looking to find them oh yeah we met a bunch of new people last time we got a new member on the team as well so we're kind of rocking we're doing good mm -hmm. the one poems elder angie who might this be Ooh. damn it said these guys are really really freaking smart tech dudes mm. Welcome, welcome to the home pool, my friend. I'm Elder NG, and these are Elder Stang and IP. Thank you so much for answering our requests for help. We are nowhere else to turn. It's the least I could do. We're under threat one by one. We elders are being hunted by some monster. As you may have noticed, when you arrived, there's been another killing just tonight. The pro, the old daughter returned once more. It. I didn't expect to see you back aboard the Wompo in my lifetime, Isabel. When you disappear, Elder Yetunde was very put out. I'm glad you're still alive when you chose to walk your own path. I was disappointed, but I still understood why you had to leave. I hope my lessons have helped you prosper. You didn't expect to be back either. Work takes you places though. I don't cart this around for fun. I beat the lessons kept me alive. Where is Yetunde anyway? I expected to be here. She's dead, so are Gan and Nakamura and Tong was killed just tonight. So much blood, you have to stop this. Yo, who's killing all these people? That's that's what we're here for. We stop the killings. Thank you, Isobel. What can you tell me about the murders? It started two weeks ago. The first to go was Gan. We found him in his apartment, eviscerated. He'd been torn apart, his head had been ripped completely off and most of his skin inflated away. There was so much blood, it took us a week to clean out his apartment. The rest have been the same, always at night, always dismembered. Each scene is like a nightmare. And every time nobody has seen anything, it's like a ghost. What happened to Thorn? The same thing that happened to the rest of the victims. Evisceration and dismemberment. We set a guard to keep people out of this shop, but he'll let you in. When did he die? Sometime early tonight, he locked up his shop, but I pissed off by to ask him about some skill ships he had, the door was unlocked and inside. Inside looked like a bad horror scene, just like all the other murders. It had to have happened after sundown, because I saw his shop was open when I was on my way to get some noodles for dinner. Why didn't you call the police? The Hong Kong police force isn't welcome here, they've tried to force us out several times before or come hunting for someone to pin a crime on. We do a lot of favors for local gangs and trads, handle the metric security, fix up the gear and make sure they have access to the Hong Kong Shadow Lab and hut. We're too valuable a resource for them to lose so they protect us when the HKPF or anyone else decides we're in an easy tag. They handle our physical security and we make sure to send a message via the matrix. The last time the HKPEF made trouble, we started hearing the assistant chief dirty laundry over the tree. They got a picture and backed off. Have you made any enemies lately? Not that I can think of. We keep to ourselves with buy and sell technology. We're not mercenaries or criminals. We're merchants and deckers. And even if someone was cheated in a deal, this kind of response is unthinkable. Whatever. Did this, it wasn't human. The violence and savagery is a monster, whatever it is. Plenty of meta humans are monsters too. NG, just because it's horrible doesn't mean it's supernatural. What do the Wompon elders do? They make the rules and keep people how to don't obey them. They're a bunch of petty tyrants. That's what. You being an unfair Isabel, our laws are for the good of the community. Are they? We'll keep the one point its residents safe. We we'll review trade agreements with outsiders to see if they're good for the community. We we'll provide a guiding vision, like a town council. Mm. 
I can respect that. I'm glad you understand this community is fragile and the authorities bear us a lot of heal will. A single misstep could spell our hand. And the invoker's sprites. I commune with the spirits of machines. Ask them for blessing and pass those blessings onto the people here. I heal the sick and ensure the Feng Shui of our inhabitants is as good as it can be. Give our confines. This is a shaman, that's so. She's just got some hooky spin on it, claims a totem is some kind of woke encompassing machine god that lives in circuitry. Ancient gods and ancestors are one thing in my deck. It's mine, I build it. The only spirits in is caught in it are the ESPs I loaded up with. Just because you cannot see or touch a thing does not mean that it does not exist. Just because you do not believe in it does not mean that it's not uh it does not protect you from afar. I can't touch programs either, but at least I can prove they have an effect on the physical world. Your suppositions are just that bullshit. This guy treats thrones like they're living things. Is that right? I'm the first and glorious servo. I study patterns, repair machinery, and teach others how to attune themselves to the wonders of automation. The Bless O25 is my shop and poor review. Where we make the drones, we use and sell. As for me, I serve as the resplendent voltage spike. That means I shoot people who try to screw with us. It's a fancy title for head of security. That's all for now. It may be worse to the residents of Wompo Garden if they've seen or heard anything. After you've gone to Tong Sensory Carnival, they may have seen or heard things we have not. Good to know. Okay, dude, is this a freaking arcade? Uh, what is this back here? These guys have some pretty cool ass stuff. Uh, so this is where they eat. Okay, one poor guy. Thong Sensory Carnival. The elders don't want anyone to go inside without the permission. Must be pretty bad in there. Port Alarm at your service. The elders told me that you would be coming. They tell you about what happened to Thong. Just the basics. Well, nothing's basic about this. I've seen people short stab beaten to death. Hell, I've been seen. A corpse that was so dry and desiccated, I could sworn a vampire got it. None of that's got anything on this. Brace yourselves and go on in. Who the? Okay. What are we about to see here? Holy! What the? What the heck? Yo, this dude got decapitated like crazy. This is a mess, sweet haven. Firestone, I haven't seen anything like that since Auntie Zwang tried to stash some crestics in a devil's rat nest. It takes a lot to turn my stomach, but we sure have a winner today. This is seriously messed up. I'll second that. This isn't a murder. This is. More like, I don't know, a feeding frenzy. If it weren't for the skin, I'd say Thong step on the goddamn mine or something. Use us our perception to sense the body. Okay. Surprisingly, no emotions of fear or anger pervade the room. The abiding emotion to room is stepped in is one perturbing satisfaction, as if someone had accomplished probably seeking revenge. Oh really, that's strange for some you're right though, he definitely didn't see it coming. Mm. Bloody wall. Well, uh, the walls are covered in splattered and spear blood, most of which has hardened into a crusty cocoa paste. Thick tracks of it run laterally. It looks like the blood has been directly smeared. Hey, Fasum, I don't know a whole lot about science or all that, but I know what blood looked like when it hits a wall. This is a natural serpent deliberately smeared blood all over this wall. See how it looks like it's caught 
paint trails, that's because someone used stones but like a brush. So they painted his walls with blood. Why? Do I look like a psychologist to you? Maybe because they're a freak. Maybe they're one of those six serial killers that sees the murder as hard. I've got no clue. All I know is what normal blood looks like on a wall. And that's it. Some people have a bad grasp of art. I knew this guy in Quantum who used to make music out of stray radio static and panic button calls. Called it Crisis Wave. It was awful. The heck? What kind of music is that? Crisis Wave. Investigation continues. Tong's desk. Looks like someone looted his stash. A guy like this wouldn't keep only empty crazy in the safe. Hmm. His bathroom, Tong's bathroom is immaculate and the trains are thin. Whatever killed him didn't exit through here. Okay. It's PC. This is a Yamaha 95000 V Simpson that device for mixing and mastering sim censorship. A visible pack the Simpson. There, I put a drive warning on suspend. It's in diagnostic mode only, though maybe we'll learn something, maybe not. Yamaha seems so 523 system, diagnosis check, memory okay, drive error okay. Okay. Interesting. To do this, I need the biotech to examine the body. Hmm. Yeah, I can't. So I guess we get out. Yep, it's been cut up real bad. Portal lamp. Hey there, need anything else? What do you do around here, Porter? It's a catch all category, I guess. I work for all the IP. It's a bit like being a deputy. I make sure people don't break the rules, protect people who need protecting. Most they just do whatever IP asks me to. It's a pretty quiet job most days. Today is not one of those days. I also had a lot of maintenance. I don't actually do the repairs, but I've got most of the keys. It makes it easy to ensure only authorized people get into sensitive places. Electricity goes down. I let in the electrician who fixes the wiring. Toilet's clock. I let in the drone guy who opens it back up. Looks like somebody went through Thong's things. Has anyone else been inside? No sense of being here, but before IP found him? Could have been anybody. Really, IP had a key to his place, but the locks total crap. Anybody's up this and that crack. The mag locks could have gotten inside. What's missing? It's BTLs. Hard drives and crestics are all missing. Sounds like the killer looted this place. To me, all these talk of monsters, yeah sure, they are scary things that go bump in the night. But most of the scary bumps I hear are from handguns and gangers. See you later. Investigation continues. Who's this guy? ZB. I don't know, I just don't feel safe here anymore. Who's ZB? You look like you, you could be the killer. Hey, stranger, nice to see you. Zippy toy tag at your service. How are you liking one poor garden? First off, nice to meet you, Zippy. Nice to meet you too. Listen, I know it's a little forward of me to just say hello and whatnot, but I'm interested in giving you a hand if I can. This is my home, at least for the time being, and I'd like to stop these killings. We've never met before this, but I know exactly who you are. You're my replacement. The elders had me a topsy. Uh, what was left of Elder Gan and Elder Nakamura after they got ripped apart, but I didn't want to dig any deeper. So since I don't knew him, I can smell a shadow run a mile away. You've got to be the outsider they asked to stop the killings, right? Very astute, that's right. See, I've got good eyes, a lot of good eyes. Actually, if you're in the market for replacements, only slightly used and they only come from certified donors. I swear. Man, I kill myself. Pretty funny, you stand-up comedian? You jokes like that? Are you kidding me? Um, one of the only trained sergeants around here. I keep the other one point selfie, got a practice down the road. 
Li Qing is a pretty cool cyber dog, but he's basically an implant specialist and that's it. How'd you end up here? I did my residency back in the UCAS, could uh, become a real MD too if things hadn't gone south for unrelated reasons. I also take a little, but I'm better slicing skin than I see one poor garden seemed a good fit for me. You must have a lot of customers. As the cheap truth, I have to charge to cover my coats and eat but it's damn near free service there's always a waiting list but it's good honest work I like helping my neighbors and the community we all look out for each other somebody messes with one of us they mess with all of us that kind of community is rare as gold these days how many places have an ethos like us you know what the damn corpse that's for sure I've lived, lived a lot of places than my fair share of shadow running, but this place is special. It's been a long time since I really felt like anywhere was a real home. I'm sure I'll move again, but I'm not for a while. I'm not done with this city or these people. So is this fairly peaceful around here? For the most part, other than these killings, we don't have much by the way problems. We do information security for the threads that makes us fairly impervious to uh, anyone who wants to start trouble. Anyone starts something, we hit them up in the matrix while the thread friends hit them up in the mid space. Some small time gangs have tried pushing in here before, but they backed off when they figured out they weren't just picking a fight with Thang uh, and his guys, but with both the Red Dragon and the Yellow Lotus. They got the message real quick. I was left for them anyway. Let me ask you about one poor garden. Sure thing, what you want to know? What are your thoughts on the murders? Pretty gruesome business gun died from a broken neck, looked like someone had wretched it around and his arms and legs were cut off. Some skin flew on the way too. Nakamura had his throat ripped out by someone with pretty sharp teeth. At first I thought it was a devil rat, but the thief mats were all from something with human Humanoid jaw. I didn't look at Yetuna from what I saw at a distance, it was the same, so it didn't see much point since I'd seen it twice already. As for Tom, from what Porter told me, it was Gang and Nakamura all over again. You take a look at him yet? Yes, yeah, the same as you described for the others. Damn, I like Thorn, the BTL business is unsavory, but the man had to eat, as his regular sims were great, generally all around nice guy. Friendly with everyone, never had anyone mad at him, the inner justice, let me tell you. Can you tell me about the elders? Well, they're an eclectic bunch, that's for sure where to start. Angie is the spiritual leader here, she's the voice of the one pause, I guess. A lot of her close friends are really more of followers since she's something of a priest for the machine spirits. Maybe it's a cultural thing for people who grew up here, and it's never called. To me, still, she makes a damn fine pot of tea. Hype is the muscle and has an encyclopedic knowledge of cyber and bioware. Definitely a good guy to have watching your back. Not too friendly, but you know how it is. You get a lot of cyber, people start wondering if you tear their arms off. His code moves straight out of Blood Carnival 3, the reckoning, terrible movie, but great fight choreography. What about Tang? I don't know much about him, but I think he's got some kind of fetish for automation, found him going over some treats of automated delivery drones in a warehouse once. He works with drones as a shop called the Bless Auto Fan. He was raving about the efficiency of the movement patterns or something. You already know about Thong, Ran Sims, BTL, Skill Ships, Scan used to be a city planner before he had a nervous breakdown and got involved in statistical analysis. Nakamori came from Fukuoka and was interested in entertaining, treat mostly, spent a lot of time analyzing sublimals in ads. Then there was Mapai. She was the chief taker, hot as hell against IC and built her own hardware. Salty old woman though never met anyone who was quite a shallow nest and she was mad. She was mad most of the time. Tell me more about her. Not much to tell really. 
Maybe a month ago she just up and disappeared. I went to her shop one day and she just wasn't open. Nobody seen her since. Why would she disappear? No idea. One day she was here, the next poof. And first I thought she was just on vacation since she had mentioned waiting to see the kingdom of Hawaii someday. But it didn't feel right. She would have at least told me she was leaving. It seems mighty suspicious to me. Nobody else seems to care what happened to Wano, probably because she pissed them all off so bad. Is there any place you think I should start looking? You might want to check out a shop. It's all locked up, but the other elders have a spare key. It couldn't hurt to look around, and even though Magpie was always butting heads with other elders, they wouldn't have any reason not to let you in. What do you mean they were butting heads? Magpie and the others never saw it why she was contrary for the sake of it. Most of the rest had a grand vision for what they wanted this neighborhood to become. Magpie just wanted to take she was only an elder because they needed someone with her matrix corpse. The last big argument was between her and PIP and Nakamura. It was over something relatively trial. Think Nakamura wanted to expand the pirate business into the matrix and she absolutely refused. Why did she refuse? She said something about not using a valuable bandwidth for trivial entertainment bullshit. Anyway, it went from there into this rant about how she wasn't going to let Tang expand his drone business any further because it would get too much mega corp attention. He accused her of blocking them just because she could, which is probably true, loss of screaming. What do you mean blocking them? Everybody needs the matrix skills for the businesses to run properly. There are other decks, me say, or more Jin B. But she had the infrastructure. If the only project didn't interest her, her, she wouldn't even give them time of the day. She's a real hard head about having her time wasted, but she figures if she is not interested in something, it has no value objectively. Kind of a major blind spot, if you ask me. Sound like she was critical. Yes, I know. She was, but since she disappeared, our elder's IP is taken over running the matrix infrastructure. He's not good at it as uh, she was, but his experience with drones makes him the best candidate. They wouldn't entrust something like that to anyone who wasn't an elder, so there you go. See you later, Zippy. Hmm. Get the key to my pie shop. Hmm. Okay. Elder Angie, can I get the key? Is there anything we can do for you, Firestone? Why didn't you tell me about the Elder Link Mike Pai's disappearance? Why would we have a departure from the one points isn't related to investigation? It happened before the killings began. I'm certain she's just off sulking somewhere. No doubt she'll come waltzing back next time, all full of attitude that left her to go on without asking her permission. Wait, she went before the killing start. Would be the killer. If she does, we'll welcome back despite our problems with her behavior, skills make her extremely powerful. I've taken over maintenance of our matrix infrastructure in her absence, but I'm no near a level. The best I can do is ensure nothing breaks down until she returns. I'd like to take a look around the shop. Do you have the key? Yes, but there's a lot of sensitive equipment in there, including our community service. We don't let anyone who's not one of the one point elders in there. Why would you need to uh, look around there? Listen, you wanted me to find the killer. If I'm going to do that, I have to explore every possibility. This is why well, I uh, having charisma. Very well, the key. Take the key and look around. Just don't break anything or shut the servers off. Was there anything else? I'll be going now. Now, where is our shop? Ming Boom, I didn't talk to you. Welcome to the Ming Boom Matrix Materials, aka and VMM. What can I do you? Show me what you have for sale. Ooh. Topperman MK Assault is so far in Okay. Cool drones, huh? Okay. 
See you later. Back to the one ball again. Okay, so that's her shop. She could be the killer. Like she actually could be the killer. Wait, there's a oh there's more there. I didn't even see that. Hmm. 